Alrighty, it's Friday, March 2nd, 2012, and it is quarter to nine, 8.45, and it's time for Comets X. Well, yesterday was uh, uh, another, I'll call it an attempt to uh, finish the uh, to-do list. I never actually get the to-do list done, I always get close to finishing, but not exactly. I got a whole chunk of uh, freegan material processed and uh, that's going to be coming off the schedule for a bit in, uh, in terms of what I was doing already doing on it uh, and something else is going to come back on you know something else freegan oriented will come back on the um, channel. Freegan is, is an unusual type of lifestyle uh, because you want to try to do things uh, the way you would normally if you had bought, you know, and went out and spent all that money. But if you want to do something equivalent sometimes, you have to go through extra work to sort of try to fix things up. And that's what I'm doing now is in the, uh, the um, high def vid uh, video, video room, uh, I'm trying to fix up an audio system that will improve the sound uh, when I record uh, the videos there. So I haven't quite finished that yet. To get and I have and because I haven't quite finished it, uh, some of the filming for the episodes is a little behind. I did some of the tests without it, and but and, and it was okay. But now I want to do the video tests, and I'll do that sometime today. Uh, I want to do the video tests. Uh, with the new audio system to see how it comes on to see whether it's worth it having it there. Then uh, beyond that, uh, I went to uh, well, I always go by uh, uh, Megan Speaks page now. That's that's uh, kind of uh, one of the regular things I do, and uh, to see what, what she's up to. Uh, my because my my that's the way my channel selector is. It's <laughs> I also went by the right and proper ladies and nerds. Nerds are well still. I still go by to check and see if anything's going on, but uh, she won't have any uh, internet until Monday uh, because they are in the process of moving. So uh, there's no nerds are well until Monday. But as I was saying, I was by um, Megan Speaks page, and she's trying to move on to. Uh, was called them greener pastures uh, after this whole incident thing and the, what was coming up on her on her discussion and two people have written about it and she sort of somewhat mentioned it, that uh, people were concerned about a YouTube partnership and I had remembered that when I first started uh, just about two months ago in, in, in December that as I was starting up they mentioned they mentioned the whole thing about YouTube partner and I couldn't remember why I had turned it down and then I went as I was sort of looking at and sort of thinking about uh, you know I just wanted to say hello to, to me again and uh, but the sort of whole thing about what they were saying about the uh, uh, their the haters comments and some of them some people were defending her but what bothered me about the whole thing is, and so I ended up going by the uh, YouTube partner uh, section on YouTube uh, to see what the rules and guidelines were, and that's why, and that sort of jogged my memory into think, thinking about why it was I didn't want to join the uh, YouTube partner program. And I don't really think the YouTube partner program really does anything for you. They say, oh, well, we're going to monetize your page. What that means is they're going to basically put ads in there. And because they're putting ads in there, and you become this quote-unquote quote, partner, all of a sudden you're now part of this whole new, and, it, and this it, you're whole part of this you're, you're part of the whole new censorship thing now because they are monetizing your page and making money off of you. You're now further restricted into as to what you can say and you can't say on the air. And the problem that I have with this is, is as follows. 
and this is the whole problem I have with, with the flagging. You know, haters can say whatever they want to say on the internet. That's fine. You know, say whatever you want to say. Just don't flag. Why? Read the Constitution. Read the First Amendment. What does it say? Congress will create no law abridging the rights of freedom of speech or the freedom of the press. I mean, that's, that's it. That's what it says. It, if you don't practice this, and this is not part of your principles, then you're supporting the fascists. And if you click on the uh, flag button and you start reporting people the way they did in Nazi Germany and the communist Russia, then you're a fascist. There is no difference between someone who is ratting out their neighbor to, to a fascist overlord and you. If you're the clicker and you're the hater and you click on that report button or you click on that flag button, on something you don't like because simply because you don't like it, then there's no difference between you and the people who supported fascism. And because you're actively doing this in a free society, you are a fascist. And so this is sort of the, the, the thing that I sort of wrote, and I actually took the quote what I wrote from the uh, my message, and this in YouTube has gone deliberately and done this. They've shortened the number of com the amount of t amount of comments you can actually make, so you really can't argue and debate inside the comments anymore. And then afterwards, if you comment so many times, even after three comments, you listen. You you're commenting. You are having a discussion with somebody. After three comments, you now start seeing a security capture that's those letters those jumbled letters that you have to write in every time you post right these things start popping up and say oh you uh, it comes up error you can't post you have to put in a security cap it's not there to prevent spamming it's there to present to prevent discussion this is the backdoor way that they're getting in SOPA, this is the backdoor way they're getting protect IP, this is the backdoor way they're enforcing more of the draconian uh, DCA rules. This is how they're bringing in censorship. And as people get used to this and as they get normal, you know, they feel this is normal, they can get away with more and more. And this is how you move down the road to a fascist society where they think that a lot of this fascist stuff is normal. But it's not. And so, I, you know, even though I'm on YouTube, I refuse to profit from it. I don't want to be partners with uh, an organization or a group of people who are fascist. It's that simple. And this is the funny thing. YouTube and Google were, were built on open source. But they got to a certain power now, and this Facebook has gone down the road. Actually, Facebook is further down the road on the fascist trail than uh, uh, Google is. As a matter of fact, Google has actually started backing off some of its uh, off of its fascist uh, uh, positions. And I think that's not, that's all you need to do is point this out to them. If they start questioning uh, your character as to why you're doing what you're doing on the internet, just simply say, "Here's here, here's the First Amendment. Are you or are you not a fascist?" If you're not a fascist and you support democracy, then you allow the discussion to go on. If you're a fascist and don't support democracy, then you shut it off. It's, 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 it's as simple as that. You know, wh what are you going to do? Are you going to shut off, you know, particular things that that you find uh, are politically offensive, or you're not? I mean, it's, it's another thing. You know, this is sort of what, what someone's pointing out that oh, maybe she's she's not uh, within the proper PG guidelines. And this is so, so people were flagging her account. I've seen a lot more worse in the standard community that, 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 as compared to it. I mean, I, you know, there's, uh, these, this is the second com the comment type of, com there's the haters and then the second type of commentators uh, that you get uh, in the uh, comments down below, the second type of people that show up are your perverts and they're in great abundance uh, on YouTube and they never really seem to get filtered out they're 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 
uh, sort of an omnipresence, even on the kids' channels. You see the kids, you know, they're doing some, you know, they're, they're, they're being kids on the internet, right? And there's some guy t describing how excited he is and wants to see more. They're even, they're even going so far as to projecting their fetishes. Like, if there was one comment where a girl was, you know, she was cleaning and, you know, now she was bending down and, 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 you know, her feet were showing and, or something like that. Along the line where her feet were showing and someone commented, commented that they have a foot fetish and they want to see more of her feet. That wasn't filtered out. You know, that's... that's so, you know, as I said, I've seen a lot more. Shane Dawson's channel is a lot more sexually oriented than Negan Speaks' channel is. Uh, the guys are certainly uh, worse than most of the girls out there. Uh, and the thing, is, the thing is, is that, and I, you know, I like Megan Speaks not because of, you know, that sexual stuff. It is, is there's all, I, I actually prefer the vlogs that don't do that stuff so but the thing is she doesn't do it enough they, you know they, there's enough what I call the regular content just her being her you know that's you know that's where my interest is I'm interested in the person not necessarily you know uh, how they look and or whether or not their top is open uh, there's enough of that what I call the normal behavior, her, her her standard behavior, that there's something to come by and see for me. But there are other channels that all you get is this, uh, what about mind numbing crap? Like I've seen Shane Dawson. I know a lot. Of Shane Dawson's Shane Shane uh, Dawson's channel is really popular, but I've seen it several times, and uh, you know. For me, it's, it's just simply mind-numbing crap. There's nothing intelligent by it. There's no sarcasm to it. There's no uh, satire there. There's nothing there. It's just it's mind-numbing crap. And I know some people like that, but for myself, uh, there's other things that, that I'd rather see on YouTube than that. But So that's sort of where my take on this was. And, uh, you know, uh, I am going in the direction, well, I'm, I, I am a physicist I'm, uh, that explores the universe, and part of that universe is, is politics, and you see that I do have a news channel down below. Uh, the news channel is, as I'm fixing up and getting the video studios in order, uh, the news will start, to go, start going on the air as well. Uh, I expect to be doing the news within two weeks, so... Uh, I will be getting into the political fray, particularly as the uh, 2012 uh, U.S. presidential elections start heating up. Uh, I intend to get more and more into the uh, the turbulent waters. I feel those feel that would be uh, excellent surfing ground. If, if if you use the surfing analogy with the turbulent waters that you get in, into uh, with politics. You can certainly uh, use a surfing knowledge, surfing knowledge, just to say that you're surfing the political waves. And if you that if you if you're that type of person where um, uh, you have that degree of of uh, let's say intestinal fortitude, that's the word, or that's the terms. Uh, and can handle that level of stress, and then all you know, all the power to you. Get involved and uh, uh, participate in democracy. You know, say what you want to say. It, does, it doesn't matter whether or not someone likes what you have to say. It doesn't matter that you get out and say it. And as a YouTube gives you a, a great platform to do that. There are some drawbacks to it uh, because you do have these fascists who are sort of lurking around. If they don't like something politically. Uh, they'll gang up on you and start shutting you off, off uh, you know, sh closing, shutting you off YouTube. And I think it's YouTube, but it, I don't know. I think it's a combination of things. I think they, they do have people in their staff who are definitely fascist. But 
there's a large chunk of it that they've automated the system. So as soon as somebody flags you as something or something is flagged, Facebook is the same thing. As soon as something is flagged is inappropriate. No one actually looks at it. This is an automatic reaction from the computer system. And the computer system is not designed, the program that does the flagging and the censoring is not designed to discern whether or not the flagging is for a political purpose or for some legitimate reason that something needs to be flagged. So, this, you know, I'm going to give Facebook and YouTube and a lot of these other places some degree of, of credit, but not, uh, you know, they still need, you know, when, when you're doing stuff like this, you re and you intend to sort of protect the community, and the thing is, I think they've really done, in this sort of flagging situation, a poor job at protecting the community. Uh, because when you do report, you know, um, pedophiles on there, people are doing comments, and uh, their accounts are rarely ever shut down. And the biggest report that you get back from them, the, the, you know, the email you get back, well, wow, uh, this is not our responsibility. They would support how, in the legal terms, they're not, res they're not legally responsible, and that you should contact the local authorities. Well, wait a minute. Who has the IPs? Who has the, who has knows where they're coming in from? Facebook and YouTube. So if you're not going, if this is not legally your responsibility to police and watch out for you, uh, 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 police and watch out for for pedophiles. And protect your your uh, people from it, or the kids from it, anyways. Or, and then, uh, what's the point of having flagging there? And I can only think that the only reason why they have flagging there, and this is where Mark Zuckerberg's uh, uh, Facebook came from, is it's just a socialist thing that you know, about being politically. It, it's the flagging has to do with political correctness. If you are not being politically correct, someone can step in who finds an offense, wh whatever you're saying, and flag it and knock you off uh, off the uh, off either Facebook or YouTube. I mean, they did this in Bangladesh. You know, there are a lot of people uh, who were on Facebook for say, say, saying something politically uh, incorrect in their country, and they're now in jail. Facebook had no problem turning these people over. So... As I said, you got to sort of decide for yourself how you're going to behave on YouTube. Uh, even if you're within the guidelines and you're, you know, you're clicking and flagging away, there is a consequence to this. You are a fascist. I'm not going to be sort of ashamed to say that. Anyways, uh, I will be getting on to the video editing, more of the video editing today. So I will see you... Uh, sometimes later, sometime later today, and I'm aiming Saturday. Both episodes of uh, Cyborg, Cyborgs and Cybernetics will be out, and Ubuntu, BSD, Unix, Excel will be out as well. All right, have a good day.